Hey, it's Djohnny346 here. Today, I'm going to be doing probably one of the biggest unboxings ever. Something I've been dreaming about doing for a good couple of years. I'm going to be opening up a full-fledged Yu-Gi-Oh! New Challengers Booster Box. Finally found a good deal on these. You know, usually they're close to $7,500. I ended up picking up this one for $35. Brand new, comes with 24 packs per box, 9 cards per pack. You're looking at about... A decent amount of cards so you know, here you go get a good look at all all the sides of it wrapped up in that official konami wrapped up in that official konami packaging so let's crack this open i think i'm probably going to split this up into two parts a just half and half so we'll see how it goes Hopefully we get something good. I believe this is one of the last sets to feature ghost rares and ultimate rares. From what I saw online, there are ghost. There's a ghost rare of the main cover, Dark Rebellion X Y Z Dragon. So let's crack this open, see what it comes with. I would love to do a Pokemon booster box unboxing as well, but. Those Pokemon ones usually end up costing much more, even down the line, because this new Challengers has been out for a good two years, I want to say. And then, so, I, I really don't know if it's worth it, so we come with them, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so just holding this many packs, I never thought it would be, I never thought it would happen, so we'll put them here. So right now, we're just going to be... Going for like those really nice ultra rares, ghost rares and ultimate rares would be nice. I don't think it'll happen, but you never know. So let's start off with the first pack, right side, see what we get, if we can get. I think we're guaranteed two secret rares and four ultra rares, I just don't know if they're worth anything. So start off with that super heavy Samurai Kabuto, got a Misjudge, Lindbloom. The Phantom Knights of Shadow Vale, Shopina the Melodious Maestra, and a... Oh, okay, so this is before they had a guaranteed Super Rare in every pack. So, Super Heavy Samurai Soul Fire Suit, Sateller Knight Procyon, Toy Vendor, and Shadal Hound. Okay, so yeah, so this was right before... I'm guessing that's why, yeah. When they got rid of Ghost Rares and Ultimate Rares, they were able to make... Make like more ultra rares when they got rid of ultimate rares and ghost rares they were able to put more ultra rares and super rares per pack you know guarantee a super rare in every pack now more likely to find an ultra rare as well and secret rares so block spider ruffy and rail car serenaded the melodious diva watchdog fright for wolf uh regular rare i believe oh and there we go first super Tauti Shadow of the Yang Zing. Alright, that's very nice. Put that off to the side. Fluffle Cat, Elegy the Melodious Diva, and Super Heavy Samurai Soul Breaker Armor. Actually, since these ones will probably be really nice, I'll put them in sleeves. I actually bought some the other day. Might as well open them now. Got these Kaiba Corp Yu Gi Oh sleeves. I believe you can find them at any Target and Walmart. You just gotta. I think you gotta buy them sooner rather than later since I believe they're so, they're starting to sell out. They got, um, from what I saw, like from where I bought them from, there was only like two left on the shelves and I picked up the second to last one pretty much. So none of that there. So let's just, let me quickly open this up, get these bundle of sleeves out just so we can put the, put that Tauti in there so. Here's that Tauti. Slide that in. Real nice looking. Silver Kaiba Corp logo. Silver on the inside. So put that off to the side. Next pack. So I'm, I'm trying not to like waste too much time. Because I know booster box videos end up going pretty long. But you never know what happens. Phantom Knights of Shadow Veil. Vale, Sateller Knight Beetlejuice. Celestia. Super Heavy Samurai Soul Shield Wall. UA Midfielder and nothing. Elegy to Melodious Diva. 
Oracle of the Herald, Punch in the Box, and Yang Zing Brutality. That one felt like it was more than nine, but who am I to judge? Next pack. We got a we got a go 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 Gorum, Celestia, Satellar Knight Beetlejuice again, Performer Pal Revival, Fright for Bear, okay, Cannon the Melodious Diva, Hexateller Knight, and Punch in the Box UA Power Jersey. I keep thinking it's I guess I keep thinking the pack ends sooner than it actually does, so next pack. And luckily these luckily for these packs they are all first edition, which is really nice. Wonder Balloons, Watchdog, Fluffle Bear, Strike of the Monarchs, XYZ Change Tactics, Command Performance, Satellar Knight Procyon, Hexateller Knight, and a Mimoclay. Again, pretty boring packs, but I believe if we're not getting anything good now, hopefully later. At least I think I'm guaranteed something good. Imagine my bad luck so bad I can't even get a secret rare out of an entire booster box. Wonder Balloons, Shogi Lance, Super Heavy Samurai Kabuto, Fluffle Bear, Naturious Acre Tree. Oh, and there we go. A first movement solo super rare. I don't think these are worth anything that much, but you know, better to get a super rare than not. Hexateller Knight, Desquad 002, and Guiding Light. I mean, I'd rather just get a super rare in every pack I get. I guess this that is a good thing about getting rid of ghosts and ultimate rares. Is that you do have a chance of getting a super rare at least in every pack. Even though they're not worth much. Next pack. I think we are about half... One, two, three, four... Five, yeah, we're halfway through. Six packs left from this first part. So we got a Fluffle Rabbit. Laser Clip. Fusion Substitute, Super Heavy Samurai Soul Shield Wall, Performa Pal Trampolinks, Oh, Stellar Knight Triver or Triver. That's really nice. Ultra rare. I think my mind was just kind of zoning out for a second. That's very nice. Put that right there. I'm not sure if it's worth anything, but eh, we'll see. Guiding Light. SZW Fenrir Sword and Super Heavy Samurai Soulbreaker Armor. So after I'm done with this part one, I'll do a quick look up to see if these rares are worth anything. I personally, if anything, Triver might be worth something, although I'm not 100% sure. Because it's I know the Ghost Rares and Ultra Rares are worth like almost $20 for each one for like a Dark Rebellion and stuff. So if we can get a Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon, I'd be pretty happy. But let's see, open this pack, Laser Clip, Serenade the Melodious Diva, Magical Star Illusion, Clipper Launch, Performa Pal Cheer Mole, Dota Do Driver, Command Performance, Fluffle Leo, and SZW Fen Rear Sword. The only bad thing is you do end up getting a bunch of commons that most definitely I'm never going to use. We got a... Shogi Lens, Strike of the Monarchs, Clipper Launch, Magical Star Illusion, Drum Muscle, and no, Dota the Driver, UA Power Jersey, Cannon the Melodious Diva, and Valerophon, Mystical Beast of the Forest. At least the, I think I pretty much have a place at it, like UA Power Jersey, I think I already have three of. Shogi Lens, Lindbloom. Block Spider, Satellar Knight Beetlejuice, Apocleford Towers, Satellar Knight Procyon, Cannon the Melodious Diva, Mimoclay, and Punch in the Box. For sure I have three Punch in the Boxes right now. I don't know about the other ones. So, two more packs. Pretty, pretty basic pulls I'd say. Just one Ultra Rare and two Super Rares. Miss Judge. Lind Bloom, Phantom Knights of Shadow Veil, vale, Super Heavy Samurai Soul Bang Cannon, Calcab Mal Mal Branch of the Burning Abyss. That's pretty nice. Fluffle Cat, Climate Change, Super Heavy Samurai Soul Fire Suit, and a Fluffle Leo. So so far it's pretty. Hopefully the left side has better ones because this is the last pack of this right side. 
Perform Appel Revival, Wonder Balloons, Go 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 Gorum, Block Spider, Super Heavy Samurai Scales, oop, oh, and nothing, Duskbot 002, Super Heavy Samurai Soulfire Suit, Toy Vendor, and Fluffle Cat, huh. Alright then, so pretty basic, we just got three cards, three like high rarity cards I guess, first movement solo, super rare, Tao Ti Shadow of the Yang Zing, super rare, and a Stellar Knight Trevor, super rare, hopefully I think this is probably the best card of the bunch, it looks pretty nice artwork on it as well. So thanks for watching, part 1 of 2, next part we got those other 12 to open up. And should be coming shortly after this.